said, you know the vibes. Listen, five o'clock. This is just a little preview, man. But five o'clock, man. Y'all not gonna wanna miss this sauce, man. I'm seeing a lot of videos that's getting done. You know, it is where it is. The tall hour is almost at hand. I'm gonna really keep it tall on the whole thing that's going on right now, man, with the with the WBO ordering for Bud and, and uh, Sean Porter, man, you know, and hopefully, I'll go into more details, but hopefully Sean doesn't get advised the wrong way and price himself out and ask for uh, a number that he can't prove that he ever got before, you understand what I'm saying, but I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a, uh, go more into that on the podcast, man, because I... I see these videos, man. A lot of guys need to just, you know, come out and just be with they are agents. They are agents for, for certain people. Because they don't... Come on, man. The business of boxing is dirty. It, it's always been dirty. But I'm glad that that uh, this is a, a step in the right direction if they can make it happen. You know, because it, it'll give Terrence. It'll give... Crawford a chance to show that you know he's one of the best because they they over there when they do all the in-house fighting it's easy to say that he's not on their level because he's not given an opportunity to fight none of those guys but this would be a great opportunity to fight one of them one that you know is a two-time champion IBF and WBC now if they do make this fight happen, and you know, Terrence Crawford's been on a, a knockout streak. You know, just say Terrence Crawford touches him up and knocks him out. All you agents out there that call yourself being unbiased, do not move the goalposts. That's all I'm saying. Don't move the goalposts, because you, you moved the goalposts when he knocked out Cal Brook. You know, I, I'm seeing videos now. You know, and, and, and Sean Porter lost to Kel Brook, but you always want to allude to that Kel Brook is, you know, he's not the same. He wasn't the same person. It is what it is, man. But like I said, if they do fight and, and Crawford is victorious in spectacular fashion, please do not move the goalposts, man. I'm tired of all the goalposts being moved because, like I said, you guys are agents pushing narratives for one particular entity. And that's not boxing, you know? But we're going to keep the tour at uh, 5 p.m. Y'all tune in to the Jack Tour podcast. You know how we do. Live stream with the source, Showtime Shot. You know, we're going to get right to it, man. But I just had to jump on this to give y'all a little preview. A little preview, a little, little something. You know the vibes. I holla.